Good afternoon, everybody. Actually, it's good evening. It's almost 9 o'clock at night. Um, sorry I didn't get to this this morning. Um, it's been a weird day for me. And I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm not going to really talk about my Bible study, what I did this morning. Um, I'm going to talk about kind of what happened tonight, which um, it's funny because like, I really meant to do this video this morning. I had something prepared, uh, and just kind of the day got away from me. And I was just kind of going through... I had a tough day, I'm going to be honest. I had a really tough day. Uh, just in um, things not going my way, things not going the way I want them to, probably more uh, apt way of saying it. Um, felt like I really, this wasn't, wasn't important. This wasn't, um, people didn't care. I felt like people didn't care, really, is the way that I would describe it. And um, got home after work. Um, my wife and I cooked dinner. Um, played with the littlest of our children for a little while, uh, just kind of had a pretty good night. Um, and while I was watching TV with the wife, I got a message on Facebook from an old friend, uh, someone I haven't talked to in quite a while. And he's like, hey man, um, would you call me? Sure, so PJ and I finished our show. Um, and I went out and I was like, hey, I'm gonna go call uh, this friend of mine. Um, friend of ours, actually, and, you know, she's, she's like, cool, whatever, um, so I call him, and he's telling me, um, some stuff that's going on in his life, um, he's got some health struggles, he's, um, his mom's in the hospital, uh, lots of things going on that aren't a whole lot of fun, just to be honest, and, but he called me, or he wanted to talk to me, because he wanted to tell me that he was being encouraged by these little videos that I'm doing that I spent all day thinking weren't important. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to get at is, is God, number one, has a plan for your life and a purpose for your life, like in the grand scheme of things, like in the, the totality, the whatever 70 plus years or whatever you get to live, God has a plan for that, but he has a plan for you for today. Like, he has a plan for you for the next 10 minutes. Like, he's so beyond anything we can understand in our limited uh, knowledge of time and space and these things, with, which he created. So he lives outside of those things. So he has, um, he's not um, caged up by those things. He can do whatever he wants. He can be wherever he wants he's everywhere and it's i know it's really complicated but he had a plan for this friend of mine today um god knew that i was struggling and he chose um this friend of mine uh, to encourage me and so i was talking to this friend and he was telling me how much he appreciated it and how much he enjoyed stuff and like i don't i don't I don't do this for that. I do this for accountability and I enjoy it and I feel like God's called me to it. Um, but I don't do this for you to call me or tell me I'm great. Like I don't, that's not my purpose with this, but it's nice to hear. So whenever this friend of mine, he called me and he told me all this stuff, it was really awesome. Um, God has a purpose for us is where I'm going though. And that purpose is often to encourage one another, to make sure that your fellow man, your fellow Christian is moving in the right direction. Sometimes it's to give them a little, little nudge in the right direction, but often it is that little bit of encouragement. I'm so fired up for this right now. I'm really excited. So um, I just wanted to share that tonight as opposed to my daily Bible study, which I'll get back to tomorrow. Um, so you guys will get to hear from me again tomorrow. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but just if you feel like you need to tell, talk to someone, to tell them something, to reach out to them, to tell them you love them, to tell them that they're doing wrong, to tell them what they're doing is great, to tell them whatever, don't hesitate. Because God's got a, a purpose for that. He wants to use you to be a blessing to that person. And don't rob that person 
of that blessing. So I'm going to read a passage of scripture to you, and then I'm going to, I'm going to be done. Um, so we're going to start Hebrews chapter 3, starting in verse 12. It says, Take care, brothers, lest there be any of you and any of you an evil, unbelieving heart, leading you to fall away from the living God, but exhort one another every day, as long as it is, as long as it's called today. I'm going to do that one again. But exhort one another every day, as it's long as it's called today that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin, for we have to come to share in Christ if indeed we hold our original confidence firm to the end. So as long as it's today, if you thought six hours ago, man, I need to call my dad, I need to call my mom, I need to call so-and-so, I need to send a quick text message to somebody, in my small group or at my church or somebody I used to go to church with and just say, hey man, hey gal, I really love you. I, I hope everything's going okay. That's the best thing you can do today. I'm just gonna say it. That is the best thing you can do today. So guys, I love you. I appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to share this with people that might need to see it. And we'll see you tomorrow.